now let us understand or learn about design thinking steps actually in design thinking step there are so many design thinking models are available and some models have three steps some model have four five seven like that so there are existing various models and these steps are ranging from something like three to seven for a, for instance you see that ido they have given the steps number of three steps step as three the double diamond method which is there that is having four step and that was designed by british uh, design council and the six stage design thinking model it is called six six square it is a model proposed by kirja so there are several models which are available for design thinking however the most commonly used model and uh, which is widely used in many places is the five step model of design thinking and in five step model we will learn about this one after some time this was originally developed by the uh, hasso patner institute of design at stanford university the d school it is also called now this company is many companies actually they use their models in new product development some of them they are using their design thinking model some of them they little bit of customization did it however the idea is basically same we use design thinking method to understand the user make innovative products for the user so what are the five steps what are the five steps first is empathy empathize or empathy empathy is where we we will learn more about this one but in general empathy is where we try to understand the user from their perspective so it is something like uh, being as if we are the user and understand the user in depth so that the product which we are making is very much related and relevant and exactly addressing the need of the user there are different kinds of user what whatever kinds of user we are having the way of understanding the user in depth try to find out the pain, pain points try to find out how they, their lifestyle is all these things are coming under empathy or empathize once we empathize next one is define we define what the problem is after understanding that exactly this is the problem there could be some limitation to the problem there could be some constraint to the problem all these things we need to understand in the in this stage of defining once defining is over we ideate we find out solutions we use various methods like brainstorming there are other ways also we generate lot of ideas select the best idea among all these ideas so we basically we find out the solution this is the most important step among all the process please understand this is very much similar to the product design steps however among all these five stages ideate is regarded as the most important step in the entire five steps of design thinking next is prototype prototype means where we prototype a solution prototype may be physical prototype may be virtual it could be a solution which is discussed so it is it is a solution where we make an actual working of prototype and that can be tested later on and that is what the next is last stage last step of design thinking is a fifth step of design thinking is testing where we take the prototype put it in front of the customer see the reaction or we actually take the prototype and put it in the uh, as a solution uh, for the system and we see how the 
it is functioning if not we have to take this back again and make this cycle again so repeating again because this is important first is emphasize second is define third is ideate fourth is prototype and fifth is testing so these five steps of design thinking it is generally followed in many of the companies and we are also going to uh, learn more about this design thinking process in depth in this one so first step is empathize and the idea is that making or understanding user centric design approach human centric means human centric means you have to understand the user in depth it is not merely you know creating a product the but is making a product which is desirable to the end user it is very important to understand the user and customer in depth what they exactly want what they expect from the product because as a designers we get sometimes influenced by our own liking our own understanding but that is not the right approach it is also important to keep in mind that we are not solving a some kind of just problem it is we are solving somebody else problem and the deep empathy is going to help us in understanding the actual problem is unless we go to talk to the talk to the potential customer potential users unless we go and see the lifestyle is difficult to understand what the customers are expected or what the users are going to going to expect from this product so we have to go to the real world meet people and see how they are going to use it and behavior of this people very different from each other very even from cultural to culture is very different country to country if a state to state is very different age of the people so not all the everybody will be different everybody will be same then then there are also people uh, of uh, uh, different uh, social structure some people are rich poor so we cannot make products which are like you know for everybody often some products yes some products does have the aim but most of the products are focused for a certain group of people who are going to use them so real behavior understanding is the key for product innovation the main goal of empathy is to actually you know go into the user shoe and feel what to be like to be another user so here uh, you have to actually make the survey user survey in the field survey going to the user and feel what they what they feel is what they feel about the uh, product need we have to understand so how to build a behavior profile in order to understand the behavior we have to observe and make a profile and maybe we have to ask a lot of questions what you think people currently do how the questions are how often do you think they do the do the one cut kind of activity and why do you think people do it why do you think this is all the questions how the questions we need to ask to the users to us also to understand the user and we need to see that okay the the user is doing these activities across the day from starting to the end of the day and then how this life is going to go and how the product is going to be added what do you think they they do it and here it is not necessary that one should get the exact answer for this the you know it is big, it is important that we should have a behavior profile and understand the user in depth so now take for example we this image we see that an old person and if you want to understand the old person in depth we have to actually see uh, what exactly he want he or she uh, is leading the life so we can uh, have an interaction with them 
and see how they how their life is so how do you think because that we can do uh, empathy of the older people okay. sir uh, what i think is that there are various various ways that through which we can empathize uh, with the target customer like for example here you have said that for a older person so the first one is that we can either role play the person or the end customer that we are for whom we are designing the product and but the best possible thing that what i feel is that what we can do is uh, we can actually go to the person observe his behaviors his act- actions toward it for example like uh, uh, for a older person as we can see from the picture itself that uh, a person is walking with a stick so definitely for an older person there is a uh, there are uh, some difficulties in walking so they so depending upon the activities that they perform in their daily life uh, we can be there for example if a, a person goes to visits a doctor uh, or driving a car or reading a newspaper so for example for driving a car we can say so what a designer should do is we can actually sit with the person beside in the car itself on in the uh, side seat and they can observe the behavior what are the feelings and what are the actions they perform while driving so because sir uh, to pen down if i say that i have to uh, tell you what the uh, older person feels out so that will be a complicated task because the feelings are very personal and complicated from their point of view so to be present with the customer to be there it gives a huge insights about the behaviors of the customer and uh, we can understand more in a much better way about their problems that they are feeling and we can design the product systematically so this is what i feel is that the um, the perf- true empathy we can achieve from the user itself okay thank you yes so as you have seen in the example that capturing behavior signal is important so we process it capture the behavior of these people and then watch carefully what exactly they do and one should need to talk to the person who is actually doing those work and now this is can you know suddenly the awkward actually you go to the person and talk to but this is the what we do this is the you know we cannot just sit in the chair and table and start start doing uh, drawing and designing until we ask the question right kind of question we they will not will not, will not able to interact interaction is important and the care should be taken that we ask the proper kind of question because no when you ask the proper question which is influencing our designing that kind of question we need to ask then for example good question can be can you show me how to use this product then we will see okay this guy is this person is using this product in this way and yeah uh, do you remember the same time what when the product product broke what kind of thing is uh, is there so what is the favorite move ever app and there certain certain question a little bit to, uh, we have to avoid like you know do you like this product okay then of course people will say yeah i like the product or very less people will take oh i don't like the product so and then uh, if you make something to fix this problem what will you buy it see we have not shown the product right now solution and then we are telling the person that if i fix this one then will you buy it it is it is a difficult question to answer for a person okay then uh, how much time you spend on this mobile app so something it is yeah it is good for some instance but some instance is not so suitable also so david kelly he is the founder of uh, ideo and the stanford d school creator uh, this is quote from him that our first person experiences help us from personal connections with the people for whom we are in innovating we have washed washed other people's clothes by hand in their sinks stayed as guest in housing projects stood beside surgeons in operating rooms and climbed agitated 
passengers in airport security lines. All these things they have done, all this to build empathy. So you see that this kind of this kind of empathy is not an easy job because the person or designer has to go and get involved, not only asking questions but get involved with the people who are going to get empathy, we have to have empathy. So this, this is the kind of detail understanding is required of the user and this is what empathy is all doing. So here is a famous example of HUL Purit. So as you know, in this uh, uh, yeah, Unilever, this is a, this is a company which uh, which has started this uh, Purit, and nowadays we will see other companies also. Originally, these um, uh, researchers, I mean, of course, the designers, but I'll t t talk about design researchers and other engineers. They actually went to the uh, various places in villages and found what kind of pain points they are having. They have found that especially Indian villages, they don't have good water for drinking. Water is not safe for drinking. So what they do? They take water, they boil and then start drinking. But boiling is not an easy job. Boiling is going to change the taste of course, it's very good water, no doubt about it. It is going to reduce the uh, minerals also. Contaminant definitely is going to go off, it's fine. But boiling is going to take time. It is going to take effort, it is going to take energy. And electricity is something which is not always available in the villages always, in every places. So solution is that we need to have a filtration method which is standardized according to something like US standard uh, and then the water should be drinkable, it should not run on electricity, it should be economical. So ultimately with all this understanding they came out with this system, pure it. So how it works? It is having some kind of uh, filtration system and water is going to be on top of it and due to gravity it is going to filter and then whatever is filter is coming filtered water one can drink it's very good filter after something something like 1500 liters of filtration you need to change the candle that cost around only 100 300 rupees so you can see this kind of understanding if it's not there coming up with this kind of product is very difficult so this is the why and slowly it becomes successful the the company has made uh, uh, lot of profit by selling this product and the reason is that they have actually understood the pain points of the people in the villages and this is a very good product also even now also I mean, modern uh, designs has been changed but it's something which is very good for the villages. Now we are going to go for define the second step of I uh, this uh, uh, design thinking is the define. Define is where we are going to understand from the understanding we are going to define the problem in depth. So we are going to find out the problems and and pinpoint this is exactly the problem is. So human centric issues is a problem and then you are going to draft the problem statement. So problem statement is drafted. and this is where this is going to also can help in uh, you know many problems but selection of the problems and over solving is something which is very important what kind of problem we are going to solve and this defining is important because we can evaluate also with respect to the definition of this problem which we have tried to we have defined as a draft as a problem statement so there is a saying in German that uh, Wenger ever besser. It means that less is better, which means that if you want to define a problem and find out the actual problem, so you have to be concise as possible. Now, no matter how good designer solutions is, if it doesn't solve the major problem, the customer is not going to 
definitely buy it advertisement if you do more advertisement some people will buy of course initially but later on it will not become successful so you have to f focus on the few problems and most important problem so uh, these are the, these are the things which we need to design. define design a problem we have to when we are understanding a problem from empathy you are defining very specifically this is the major problem and of course there are some other sub problems so how to select a problem there is no hard and fast rule and uh, there are also of course there can be many problems so we need to rank there is a you no know, we can rank the problem so there are some quotations which uh, we like to say uh, that is not every problem is solvable okay which means that bob is telling that we have to understand that we are not we cannot solve all the problem we have to solve which is the problem which we can which we are confident that a problem well defined is a problem half solved why because when you are understanding the problem and finding out the exact focus on the problem is we have already understood that the solutions of this will be focusing on this problem only so it is saying like that so in order to clarify clearly define the problem we need to understand understanding is very important and designers have to have to pen down the problem of the customer and we have to use critical thinking for this so because this is important because there is a lot of presumptions which is there that is designs designers has to be non judgmental and open minded so if designers think that this is a problem is not always true sometime the problem is there in the mind of the user and until unless we understand it we should not assume that it will be understood okay uh, so it's not of course not easy thing so when we have a problem of course most of the time the problem comes with some constraints so for example how can we improve the safety uh, standard of, of our company this is a standard this is a like a standard or or this is a straight forward question however if we have, have this one that how can we improve the safety standards of our company without increasing our expenditure then there is a constraint is there and within the constraint if you want to work then the problems then the solution which we are going to come it will be more useful for the company because the previous solution previous problem if you take solution will come but that may increase the price ultimately it may not be implemented but this is the something which is important that we are going to work it is better to work with some constraints also so no here is context of problem 2 like what makes is more genuine and we can generate less but impactful ideas in the solution this is what it is and then how can we arrange our safety policy to improve the safety standard in the company without increasing the our expenditure so here we go to add some more constraints to this one like this we make the define the problem problem such a way that the main problem is focusing on the main agenda however constraints we are adding to make the solution more applicable for us or to the user so we have to define the problem in depth next is the important thing which is coming to uh, coming is the ideate so in ideate the the first thing is is ideate is the third step in the among the five uh, five steps of design thinking and here we uh, generate lots of ideas more ideas are better and then naturally the tendency of you know design as many times okay i like this idea because i i have generated it or oh, this is my first idea okay i should seems to be good good idea this kind of confidence is not always good because it has been found that more and more we think about the idea the solutions will be better and out of box thinking is something which is important and then if you have high patience as a designer and ample time you have to spend this is true for even for research also right if you do research and we are thinking about a problem for more then we are getting better idea so creativity innovation uh, 
you should understand that we should generate more and more more and more solutions that is going to be make us more creative so uh, mark has given a very good quote in this one the best idea really come on a mountain top in a flashing of lightning which means that indirectly it's telling that you should generate more and more better ideas he is a co-founder of netflix so what we see here that there are so many techniques for idea generation and the one of the most commonly used technique for uh, idea generation or ideate is the brainstorming this is very common in industry and there are certain rules are there for brainstorming one is then sharpen the focus start with the problem and then broad away and uh, that is broad enough and then you know mind the play, uh, playground rules which means that you focus on the idea and defer judgment do not uh, judge each other's idea and then be more visible interactive and then number of ideas you can put numbering of the ideas and uh, build each other each on each other's idea and then uh, jump and build when ideas and each other plateau a small deviation and can go back to the previous idea and then change it, modify it and then even put the space so and then stretch and mental muscle which means that you give the participants and uh, a little warm up practice required so all these things we are what we are trying to do we are trying to make products which are um, generate ideas which are more improved and out of the box and of course prototype is possible that is if, if that is uh, and then we again uh, use the same technique to generate more and more ideas now the fourth step for design thinking is a prototype here we are trying to bring idea into reality so where the product is not the final model but it is no it is a it is a product which we are making and in testing we are going to test with the user so here it can be models it can be sketches it can be digital form so what we should select it select on it basically it select on the type of uh, product or the solution which we are expecting so for some kind of solution models may be enough some kind of solution sketching may be enough for some kind of written material may be enough for some kind of things we been make actual working model maybe use uh, uh, it manufacturing to make the models and then some kind of sometime it will be incomplete and the versions can be incomplete but it should have the features to explain the people this is the idea which we are having and the main aim of the prototype is to get the complete idea of all the hurdles and which can make a successful product so and then prototypes can be of can be a many time many times and multiple times it could be there so from idea another quote which is quite interesting if a picture is worth a thousand words a prototype is worth a thousand meetings which means that when you have prototype you can easily know this is the product which we are going to give it to the customers and this is going to reduce lot of confusions so prototype in all this you know like in you know, a interaction and end of the advance providing a small scale solution and then getting the feedback this is something which is which is done in the uh, testing phase and prototype is where we make the product and try to see the testing is done later on and then we also need to see that uh, it is not is a, we should also avoid wasting a lot of money because in the prototyping may make it is a, something like expensive process the process which we have uh, if we make the product and then we show it to the user sometimes not possible so we make the prototype and show it to the user so but also we need to have some some idea how much to prototype and when to prototype there are some advantages of course for early prototyping that it converts 
the abstract form, this is the idea which we are having and the physical form this is something which is very valuable and this can be shown later on to the user. And design teams can work on something which is you know, work in progress that also we can show in between. This prototype need not be now everything is complete and then we are doing. In between also we can do. Then iterations, it could be done simultaneously or one by one. Uh, like Apple, they consider the prototype very important. So Ken, the former designer in Apple, this is the quote from him that uh, demos were fundamental to our work at Apple. We use them to highlight the potential, explore the concept, show the progress, prompt the decisions and drive the decisions for making our product. And software demos need to be convincing enough to explore an idea, to communicate a steep towards making a product even though the demo is not the product itself it serves as a primary means to turn ideas into a software so that is what the importance of prototype is here now the finally we are going to the fifth step of design thinking that is the testing phase of test so this is the last stage of design thinking or fifth step and here we test the prototype or the product with the users which means that we gather data we collect the data from the user and see how they are feeling of the product what is their feedback is so uh, of course there are some techniques we have on this however the most important thing is that the product when it's final stage we uh, have this multiple product which we uh, prototypes and we can get feedback and suggestion from them so this is the product which are we thinking of are we uh, telling about uh, uh, this this is the product which you like or do you think this is the any changes are required what do you feel about the product uh, do you think you're going to use it so the many questions can be coming but until we show it to the user and also sometimes you know, verbal and informal information also you can get it so you have to have a you know, series of changes also possible editing is also possible and this is basically a testing phase which is of course important and uh, feedback from the user is where we are taking, going to take in various ways so this is we should understand that we are trying to demonstrate the product we are not selling it okay we are not trying to look at you are going to buy it or not okay do you think you like it or product no you are going to understand what the product feel what the sorry what the users feel when they see the, seeing the product what the customers is going to see why they are interested or why they don't have interest in this one uh, next is Jane K Knapp in his book on Sprint, he has described how to conduct interviews and how to validate it. So according to him, the five customer interactions are enough uh, for a complete idea of the of a prototype. And this is the only trick that a designer should know the right customer with whom the prototype should be shown, not on the customer. Designer should know, get the right customer in which not only to give the honest feedback, but also give the ideas which might come. And design thinking is the approach towards innovation. It's very important to approach to innovation and it becomes successful at the interaction of what is desirable to the users, what is feasible and technological point of view, and what seems to be an economic and viable options for the designing. Thank you.